I had to identify one thing that our PAP has meant to me is it is this change the culture of rural health care to be valued, important, safe, high quality, um, and worth preserving. Historically, I remember the burden of the culture that held uh, urban medical care to be the uh, pinnacle, uh, to be the holy grail, and that uh, rural health care was what you got when you couldn't get to the city. Organizations like RPAP, and there were only a few back when RPAP started, uh, changed that culture. They allowed researchers to look at the evidence on uh, on outcomes in the rural healthcare uh, communities. Um, and there weren't many of us back in the day who were trying to uh, make the case, uh, ultimately successfully, that the value of rural healthcare stood on its own. And that if you could deliver a baby, for example, close to home, the likelihood of you having a good outcome was greater than if you traveled, even traveling to the very best hospitals in the country or the province, even traveling to those, you were not as likely to get a good outcome as if you were able to deliver um, uh, close to home. One of the greatest burdens of uh, rural healthcare, and this is not only physicians, but nurses, etc., is the professional isolation that goes with providing care in rural and remote communities. And I would ask RPAP again and again to help with the conferences and courses, um, things that were uh, back in the pre-Zoom days, uh, absolutely instrumental in building the relationships that reduce the professional isolation of the medical uh, of the medical and nursing and basically the whole healthcare team that uh, that lives and works in rural Alberta.